Good, stop. Now, what do we mean by the word emperor? Emperor means what? Emperor means what? The king. Today we call them kings. But in the years behind, they were called emperors. Now, when we started this story, we started by talking about three farmers, isn't it? The farmers actually needed water for their crops. So what did they do? They were digging and they found a head of a human being. Now after that, when they found this head, they were afraid to go and tell the villagers. Why? Because they thought that it might bring bad luck to the village. So what did they do? They redigged again and buried the heads. Few days later, they went to the, the police, the officials, and told them, this is what we saw. Now, in the imagination of the police, what did they do? They went and called archaeologist. Who is an archaeology? Archaeology is? If you know, raise your hand up. Yes? Someone who would dig and uh, want more information. Someone who dig to get more, more information. Archaeologists, even if they have the bones of human beings, they are able to tell you when these people were living, how they were living, how did they look like. So if you want to be an archaeology, this is what you have to do. You will be digging to find information. So archaeologists came and they found a lot of these human beings. And they gave them the name what? There? Terracotta. Terracotta mean what? Great warriors who had lived in the years of the Chinese war. These people were not like small like, like you and I. They were about 40 pounds, you know, heavy and tall. And they were wearing um, helmets and they had swords. So they were there to guide the emperor. They were there as fighters. So in the years behind, if you want to be a Terracotta, no one is going to take a small guy like Ibrahim who is small in the body. No. They need someone who is as big as a house. Why? Because they need the people. When they speak, no one will speak. So archaeologists discovered that a lot of these people were buried. So they knew that there was a kingdom in the years behind. And I want you to know that 100 years ago, people were living. As you're living today, tomorrow you will be history. Your own great kids will talk about your lives. So this is what we are learning now. We are learning about people who lived 200, 300, 500 years ago. Now let's continue. Yes, um, Walid. Who lived from 2, two uh, 25 9 to 2010. BC, there was no China in state. There, wa there were seven separate kingdoms which had its own language. Come this way, please. Continue. And Francis now. And Jonas. 400, 400 of them, they had been fighting for others. The kingdom of King was. Soldiers received their pay only after they had presented their generals with the cut of heads of enemy warriors. By 221 BC, the ruler of the king, king of the king kingdom had eaten up his neighbors, like I said, the sick war the boy Ali. According to the uh, according to an ancient ancient history. The name, was, the name China comes from Kim. Good, stop. I want someone to explain this paragraph that Wally just read. I want someone, plus one, plus one mark is going to be given. Who can explain this paragraph? Who can explain the paragraph that Wally did? Come on, guys, don't be shy. I want you to explain the paragraph. Yusuf. 